Hi folks, hope you're doing well. Blake here and I'm back with another video today. Now this is a vlog because I did something quite cool yesterday. So yesterday I went busking. Now I've not been busking since about five years ago when I went in Cambridge. So here's a picture. I looked a lot younger back then. So yesterday I actually did it to a bit of a higher level. I did amplification, I went into the centre of London and I played at Euston Station. So I'm going to talk about how it came about, what happened on the day and show you a couple of videos and pictures in case you're interested in going busking or you want to hear about it. So first up, I signed up to it via Busking in London. So they, are, they work with Transport for London and they arrange a lot of overground busking events. So a lot of people kind of around the country and beyond know about the underground buskers but that's a whole different thing that you need a separate license for. It takes quite a while to apply for it and there's a lot of people doing it and limited spaces and so on. Uh, so this is something else and I got sent an email asking would I like to play at a few different places and the one that came up that I could do was yesterday so for the 15th of May and it was at Euston Station. So I said yes, I thought this would be really cool but there was quite a lot of prep I had to do for it. So firstly, I thought about trying to test out all my equipment to make sure that it works, not plugged in, because of course you've got to play out on the street. And also, as it had been probably a few months at least since I'd been performing, I wanted to make sure that my set list was up to time and I could play for a couple of hours. I was booked to play 2 till 4 p.m. so I thought I'll try and make sure I've got enough songs. And I actually tested out my equipment, just setting everything up at home just to make sure it all worked. And that also included this, so I decided to get a card reader. So one of the kind of things that are required at the moment, because they don't really want money to be passed from hand to hand because of the pandemic, is that you have a wireless card reader. So I had to get one of these and set it up as well. So I did all that and made sure it all worked and then prepared for traveling into London. Now, when it actually got to yesterday morning and I was planning to go into London, I was a little bit worried. There was quite a lot of rain <laughs> going on and predicted throughout the day and it was a risk of going in, kind of setting everything up and then the rain coming and I wouldn't be able to play because of the electronics and no one would be sat outside. But I eventually decided it's worth it, even if I have to set up, play for half an hour and take everything down. Got to about two o'clock and I got a kind of pass to say like I was contracted to play there. Set up and everything just as there was a clearing in the rain and it went amazing. There's loads of people outside, I was playing to a lot of different people. A few people filmed me, a few people kind of offered to give me money. So I should say I had a bit of a card issue. The card reader that I have, although it works, wouldn't connect to my phone so I couldn't set it up that I could do contactless. And so because of all the rules, I kind of closed my guitar case and I was sort of not asking for money. I thought like, it's fine, I just want the experience of playing. And you know, next time I come back, maybe the conditions will be a little bit different. But yeah, it was a really great experience. I loved playing. Um, I played for about two hours. For you to play the way you feel. What you love, what you have, what you love. Oh, thunder only happens when it's raining. Maybe it's a sign we're doing things right. Let's stay in bed till late, make some pancakes. Yeah. Stay at home. We got 
what are we need right here? Don't need to know the time. There's no nine to five. We got all we need right here. I had a little break in the middle. Um, but that was just to eat something, not because of the rain or anything. It was actually kind of held off. And then the most amazing thing happened, which is, so suddenly I packed everything up and the rain just absolutely came down. The heavens opened and it absolutely flooded the place with rain and no one was outside anymore. So it kind of felt amazing that we timed it so well. I managed to get in the full set and then five minutes later it started raining. If you are a musician and you're interested in busking, I'd say definitely do it. It's really enjoyable. Kind of bear in mind it's a little bit different to a gig. So you are playing and sometimes to big audiences, but the kind of audience interaction can be quite different. And depending on other things like where you're positioned, kind of noises around you, how busy it is, the weather and so on, that affects massively the audience you had. But I found my audience to be really great. I played a lot of covers and I played a couple of my original songs as well and they all went down really well. A few people did give me money in the end by kind of throwing some coins at me but I wasn't asking for it. But it went really well and I think the next time I go I'll look forward to playing again hopefully in the sun, hopefully at another place like maybe uh, King's Cross or St Pancras or somewhere else in London. I really enjoyed it. It's a great scheme to be part of. So if you like the sound of that and getting into busking, then I definitely advise checking them out. I don't think they're taking people on at the moment, but they're hoping to put out applications again soon. And yeah, thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and please comment to let me know where you're going to be busking next if you're into it. And if you like this video, please consider checking some of my others out. I do videos every week. And if you click the little subscribe and notification bell buttons, you'll get notified every time I release a new video. That includes vlogs like this, but also includes original music, covers, gag reels, guitar lessons, and loads of other great stuff. Thanks very much. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time. And in you, a reason for believing things I thought wouldn't come true. I wouldn't have waited so long for a kiss I might have missed She wears dark songs